Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. So on an XY coordinate grid, how do you find the distance between two points, even if they're diagonal from each other? Well, I want to show you right now two different methods. One is the, using the Pythagorean theorem, and the other is the distance formula, using the coordinates of the two points. In the first method, Pythagorean theorem, since the points are diagonal from each other, we just can't count units. We need to think of it as a right triangle. So, for example, I look from the A point to the B point and I notice that there's a vertical distance and a horizontal distance. So if I look at the vertical distance from A straight down, how far up and down are A and B from each other? And I notice that that would be 8 units. Going across, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 units across. Using the Pythagorean theorem, I would have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And if A and B are my legs, that would give me 8 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 8 squared is 64, 12 squared is 144, and that gives me my blue line distance squared, the hypotenuse. When I add 64 and 144, I get 208. And then I take the square root of each side, and I get the square root of 208, and the distance C would be about 14.1. So the length of our segment is about 14.1 units. All right, using Pythagorean theorem. The next method is the distance formula. And what we have to do is figure out the coordinates of each of our points. So when I look at where A is, it's located 8 units back from the origin and 6 units up. So it's a negative 8, positive 6. The location for point B is positive 4, negative 2. So in the distance formula, we need to square the difference of the x's, and that would be negative 8 take away positive 4. And we need to square the difference of the y's, which would be 6 and negative 2. And then we need to add those two results, all inside a radical sign. That's the formula. So I would have the square root of negative 8 take away 4 is negative 12, but we're going to square that. 6 take away negative 2 would actually be positive 8. We're going to square that. Notice that as we keep going, we'd have 144 plus 64 in my radical. That would be, again, the square root of 208. Notice it's similar to what we got using the Pythagorean theorem. And the answer, again, would be about 14.1. So know how to do this using the Pythagorean theorem, create a right triangle, or plugging the coordinates into the distance formula. Good luck. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.